we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggins. We're diving back into the Legend of Heroes, Trails from Zero. Uh, Cecile is correct. I was not insane. All right, cool. And we're about to get into some of the old combatual action, which we haven't seen before. Oh, that's really cool, actually. That's so slick and smooth. I really like that. All right. Uh, let. Oh, uh, we got to equip our, our quartz, right? Yeah. So as I'm sure you could tell at this point, I have taken a, a moment or two. Uh, well, it's been a few hours since I recorded the first episode, but I am here. I am ready. I am excited. I am eager. Get back into it. All right. So. I mean, should he be defensive? Well, it just says wind, water, fire, heart. No. Um, but do, do, don't we don't we need a master quartz or something in there? Is that is that not a thing? Okay, I guess I guess I see how this goes. So we are going defense. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know, I'm here. Oh, God. Minus 1% of strength. No. What kind of arts do we got? We got Stone Spike. Sparkle. What does Sparkle do? Uh, I can't just open it from here. I gotta go here. Okay. Fall down lightning. Grants protective power to the earth to an ally. Heals a small amount. Tier. Okay. Ooh. Icicle Ledge. Nice. And Forte grants the power of fire. 25% strength and shoots a flaming ball of fire. Oh, wait. We also have uh, Stone Spike. Causes a sharp rock to shoot up from the ground. Okay. Why are you missing HP? Oh, because you got an HP plus one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right. Well, uh, I guess we did that. Tactics. Uh, oh, formation. I guess that's fine. Alright, uh, we did the thing. Door is locked, door can be unlocked with the Geofront Sector key. Use the key, unlock, door is unlocked. Alright, now, do we have any thing that show? Okay, we have, oh, we got our map. Oh, man. That is quite map-like. Do we... Did we get anything that... Okay, we have our other map. I was wondering if we had anything that, like, kind of told about our quests. Detective notebook. The detective's guidelines. Fulfill your mission as a noble defender of the law. Never turn your back on justice. <laughs> Only those who seek the truth can grasp it. What, what is... What? Oh, okay. Uh, section right off the bat, we were told blah blah blah. Geo explore the geo front. Uh, then we'll have any questions. Let's head inside when we're ready. Okay, I think we did everything that we had to do. So let's uh, let's go in. That's so cool. All right, so what are we uh, getting ourselves into here? Can you tell us about the save uh, spot there? So this is the Geo Front. I'd heard rumors about it, but never expected to find a place like this beneath the city. Whew, now that's a relief. I thought we were going to be trudging through some nasty butt sewage, honestly. According to database records, the Geofront construction began at approximately the same time Crossbell ventured into large-scale urban planning 20 years ago. It initially included water supply and sewage systems, as well as a waste disposal plant. Orbital cables and additional modern tech were added later. Well, it's safe to say that this place isn't at all what I expected it to be. Central Square is directly above us, correct? It's unsettling to think that monsters are roaming around right beneath our feet every day. The area is usually sealed off, so monsters cannot exactly wander onto the streets. However, there have been reports of maintenance workers being assaulted while working down here. Unfortunately, the police seem too busy at the moment to provide the appropriate countermeasures for these incidents. I had no idea. This be one of the reasons why the special support section was created. 
<laughs> I'd be fine with that. At the very least, monster extermination is nice and simple. Yeah, it is. You tell him, Randy. All right, then. Our mission this time is clear. Whether this is a detective's job or not, it's a job that needs to be done. Let's not worry about whether this is a test or not. Let's focus on doing the best job that we can. Ooh, sounds like Mr. Serious Business is getting all fired up. Still, he's right. We should take advantage of this mission to refresh ourselves with the basics one step at a time. Roger. Roger, Roger. What this? This is our, like, save rest point? Yeah. This machine, found in dangerous areas, is an orbit charging station. You can fully recover HP and EP by inspecting it and selecting rest. When the party is in critical condition, try using these to give them back in fighting shape. All right, if we ever find ourselves in a pinch, let's come back here and heal up. All right, we're going to do that right now, actually. Rest. Put a high-speed mode on to high-speed rest. All right, I think we are ready to take off on a hero's journey. Would it? Yeah, sure. Let's go through the battle tutorial. Oh, look, it's a fuzzy... I don't know what that is. Thing. There. Old man wasn't kidding. So that's a monster. This will be our first combat operation as a team. Let's proceed carefully and strike. Monsters cannot be seen from far away. When close enough, they'll become visible. Initial battle advantages changes depending on how you encounter them. Gain the advantage by sneaking up behind them. But they can do the same to you. When the confirm button is pressed on the field, the lead party member will perform a field attack. It is possible to stun a monster by striking them when they don't see you. If you initiate the encounter while they're stunned, the party will gain an even greater advantage. Okay, press the assigned button to attack the enemies in the field. Attacking from behind will stun enemies, stopping them for a short time. Battles can begin one of four ways, depending on how the enemies were encountered. Walked into a stunned enemy, max advantage. Strike first and increase a team attack chance. Walk in to an enemy from behind, advantage. Strike first. Now, uh, walk into an enemy from the front, standard, regular battle, got it. And enemy walks into the player from behind, enemy advantage, enemy strike first. If your level is significantly higher, the field attacks instantly defeat enemies. Oh? Really? Oh, sorry. Oh, really? There we go. So is this the walk button? It is. Ugh. I love the little birdies. Party max advantage. All right, the AT bar indicates whose turn it is and the order of upcoming turns. It starts at the top and moves down. Okay. These, oh, we just get critical across the board. That's fantastic. These icons indicate bonuses allotted to the AT bar order. If a bonus icon appears next to a character's icon on their turn, they will receive that bonus. Uh, HP heal, sepeth up. Each of the bonuses has a different effect. Do we get to position ourselves? Attack an enemy. The highlighted area is the distance the character's attacks can reach. Selecting a target in this area will move the character to attack it. When a target is out of range, your cursor will become the little weird triangle Dorito chip with the X through it thing. Uh, selecting an out of range target will move the character as close as possible to it, but no attack can be performed. Got it. All right, shoot him. Wow, these things are really strong. Oh, my God. All right, we get to see the Orbal Staff in um, in action. <laughs> no. I like it. <sighs> Finish it. Very nice. Overkill. I don't think he's got enough to finish it, so he's going to take a hit. Oh, no, he did. He did have enough. Nice. Yeah. All right. Overkill. Seven rush. I don't know what that means. First strike and unscathed. What is seven rush? Okay. Support member. Support member. We don't have either one. Do we get links in this one? Or is the link something that came with Trails of Cold Steel? King Potato! It's a marbled steak. Nice. Okay. Alright, we did it. Guess the old man wasn't kidding about how weak these things are either. I mean, they seem 
really, really strong. They took a lot of hits to take down. That may be, but at least we learned a little bit about each of our fighting styles. I was especially surprised by Tio's Orbal Staff. Yeah, so was I. Was that some sort of art you fired off with it? Well, essentially. Unlike normal arts, there's a chance that my attacks will miss the enemy. However, the energy the staff generates functions as a short-range burst of arts without the casting time. Nice! We could come up with a bunch of different tactics with someone like that on our side. That was the goal for this technology. Also, if I could direct your attention to the breastplate that I am wearing. Uh, interesting. This links with the Orbal Staff's systems and provides me with a protective field, increasing my defensive capabilities. Oh. As such, I am able to withstand much more than my, phys my physique suggests. Should the need arise, I can take the front lines without issue. That's weird. Incredible. This truly is cutting-edge technology. Might as well take advantage of it, eh? Mm, even so, I'm really not sure if I'm comfortable having a little girl in harm's way. Oh dear, sweet merciful lord, why would you say that? Eh, uh, never mind. That was not a good plan. Oh, it's just... Ah, oh, look it up, look it up! Alright, let's go. Let's get this. Alright, we got a we got a box. A tear Balm, that's a little healing potion. Okay, we got ourselves a slime. Huh? The heck is this? Some blob of goo? I think arts will be more effective than our weapons against these types of monsters. Let's give our enigmas a whirl during this fight, everyone. Yeah, good idea. Roger. Technically... Ha, ha. Apparently, he has no front, maybe? Or I hit him in the front. Effective against uh, enemies that are hard to hit and or resist physical attacks. It takes time for arts to be cast, consuming a set amount of ep. Uh, or EP. All arts are associated with different elements. Strategically identify which element is the most effective against the enemy. Um, just curious. Do, do we get a... We do get details. Oh, we have no idea. Alright. Let's sparkle. Oh, it moved. And it breathed its nasty stank breath on me. I don't want no cold shower from you. You know, I'm just going to attack because I think we can do this. Yeah. Sparkle! Boom! That was big damage. It's nice with the crit, though. Okay, I think we finish off one this way, at least. Firebolt. Down you go, sir. You get the cold shower a second time. Hold him with Sparkle again. I'm gonna have her actually go with Tear. Heal him up first. Alright, so we should be fully healed off of this. We can't defend, right? We don't have any crafts yet. Sparkle incoming. Oh, this thing's gonna crit him. I think we might be able to finish it. Maybe not, honestly. Maybe. Well, with the swing... I still don't think that's enough. I'm gonna try it. Nope. There we go. I should have paid more attention to where his uh, turn order was going to end up at, good old Randy. I think I'll have time to actually throw a heal on him before he gets into combat in the next deal, hopefully. Oh, it's a Mosquito. Alright, let's try using crafts against an enemy this time. Oh, we do have crafts. Combined with our arts, a wide range of tactics are open to us. Yes, let us fight effectively. Heh, <laughs> looks like it's my time to shine. Trust me, you don't want to miss any of my killer moves. Watch and learn. Uh, try not to hurt yourself. Ha! Ah. Fool! Party max advantage. 
Our crafts are character-specific skills which not only deal damage, but also have a broad range of effects. Using crafts consumes CP craft points. CP is gradually gained by dealing or receiving damage during battle. Alright. Nice. Wow, that was interesting. Triple burst. I'm going to split my damage a little bit. I don't know how strong each thing is going to be, so... Uh, crap. Power smash. Oh, dang. Oh, that was impressive. Oh, wait, didn't we have max whatever? I thought we had max advantage. I guess max advantage just gave us the crit. Now uh, we're getting hit with some, uh, dissonance. Alright, let's hit him with the craft. Oh, we can analyze them. I mean, sure, why not? Alright, so let's take a look. I guess we know how much sepith they're going to drop, what kind of items they would drop. In the insect that swarms over the leftovers of strong monsters amidst deafening sound waves. 207 HP total. They're going to get 24 experience. And their elemental efficacy... Well, elemental efficacy toward them. So I believe the way this works, I'm like 90% sure I'm correct here, is at 100, it's even. That's like the, the base. So at 100, it's 100% effective. At 140, it's 40% more effective than it is at 100. If it, elemental efficacy was at 20% or 20, it would only be 20% effective. So this is basically like a percentage of damage that those specific different elements would do. I believe that is correct. This is gonna suck. We're gonna get hurt. We might even die here. Cause this one's gonna crit. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my god. Uh. Okay, at least she gets to go quickly. I, I don't really understand why she got killed here, or uh, why everybody got, like, owned, but... That's fine. Power smash. Okay, double di dissonance up there. Oh. Alright, we're gonna heal up. I mean, I think we're gonna be fine. We'll get through this, but it's still embarrassing that we got killed as quickly as we did. I'm just gonna finish this one off with a basic attack. Should be less of a delay. right back in for the dissonance on both. I mean, it's it's smart. It's clever. Power smash should end it. No, it was only a 40. Oh, because our strength is so low. Okay. That wasn't great. That was not great on our part. Found some smoke granades. Alright, they're both down. Do I need to, like, back up, or... I need to back up. This place is just crawling with monsters. Fighting all these pests one by one is getting to be a serious pain. We should try using S-crafts to take them out all at once. The battle shouldn't last long. We use the power of S-crafts and S-breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. S-crafts powerful moves that could be performed at the cost of at least 100 CP. This seems like the perfect opportunity to test them out. My S-Craft can heal us, so don't hesitate to rely on me if you're in trouble. Yeah, we'll rely on you in a minute. Oh, cool. Nice. Alright, well, I need to hustle back and, uh... and heal, because I, I got owned.
I, I did not have stellar positioning. And 100% on me. Okay. Oh, I totally can get behind him. Nice. I didn't know if I'd be able to get past him. Successful ambush. We got some crits. And nobody's at 100 CP. I am now. Once a character has 100 or more CP, an S-Craft can be unleashed at any time, ignoring the battle order. This is called an S-Break. Yep, you hit triangle to do so. Each character's S-Break can be set to a specific S-Craft under status in the camp menu. Uh, triangle plus any direction activates the corresponding S-Break. The character's icon becomes this. You cannot activate their S-Break. Let's try activating the S-Break for real. Okay, after activating it, it cannot be canceled. Just have no choice. All right. Tiger Charge. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay, that was pretty cool. I mean, I don't feel like I need to activate hers, but oh my god, that looks incredible. Yes, we're doing this. The Ether Buster. She just pull a gun out from where? That's probably gonna leave a mark. Yeah, yeah, no, that left a mark. As luego, let go my ego. You tell him. First strike unscathed, overkill. Very nice. Oh, okay, we leveled up on one of them. Two of them, sorry. And then the two that died didn't get to level up. All right. So there's already a little bit of a discrepancy between the, the folks. Wait, did we get to see what the level up was? Like uh, stat increases or what have you? I know they leveled up, but I, I don't know. I must have missed it. Or they just don't show it like they they do in... Again, I, I'm basing most of this off of Cold Steel. I don't remember too well Trails in the Sky, even though I've only played it a very little bit of time. Um... Let's go take a peek. I don't, I don't know if we want to go up this way or not. A ladder to the surface? What's this doing here? Seems as though it leads to a street-level manhole. However, there's no record of it in the database. Why has it been left open like that, though? Who knows? Perhaps someone at City Hall forgot to close it. We should be sure to report this to them once we're done. Agreed. Ladder that leads to the surface and connects to the manhole in the center. In the center. Oh, we can't actually go to... Okay, so that was like a, a clue or something. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's coming after me. Oh, no. Do, do we get a double chain battle or something going on here? Well, let's see what happens. Hit him with the Orbal... Oh, I say hit him with the Orbal Staff, but apparently out of range. You're gonna eat a little bit of damage. Alright, we got some CP going on here. Very nice. Really? Why are you slower at the start and then a little meaner afterward? Alright, next battle. Cool, cool, cool. Phew. Big smack. Why is uh, our, our main guy so slow at, like, doing, th oops, doing things? I cast it on him? Yeah, I did. Okay. Come on, Lloyd. You only swung once this whole time. Why are you so slow? Finish him. So we get a little bit of a bonus for Battle Chain, but we did nothing else on top of that. Alright, I, I suppose that's fine. Alright, they did level up. Level up. And we see the Sepeth coming in, the King Potato, but we don't actually get to see the stat increases. Oh, that's a little disappointing. I always enjoyed that. Get to see, like, oh, we leveled up. Oh, we got, like, 35 of this and 10 of that. You know. It's all right, though. All right, doesn't look like there's anything here. Uh, it's an elevator control. Operate it? Sure. Let's do it. Oh, we're almost out of time. Boo. I'm having a blast, though. I like this. Oh, that's a lot. 
I said I've gotten back into the Trails series lately, and uh, I've been having a really good time with it. Uh. Oh, here we go. Dissonance just coming at us immediately. Oh, we have a counterattack, though. When an enemy misses, the target will counterattack if they are within range. Makes sense. Oh, we just do zero damage to these things. All right, let's, uh, let's hit him with a sparkle and see what happens. I think we hit both of them with the Crimson Gale. Let's see. Yep, we did. So the mosquitoes, not super fun to deal with. All right. Little slimy boys, we got one of those dudes. Successful ambush, all right. What is that triple party thing? I know these guys are not super good with this, I guess we could use an art. Team Rush chance. Oh, simultaneous attacks. Team Rush. This, that's interesting. When this bonus appears, a simultaneous attack can be performed. You may choose to cancel and perform a normal action instead. Ah, uh, no. I think we should do this. Oh, this is cool. Get them, boys and girls. Bonk and finish it with the zap. Sparkle. Very cool. All right. We took down the gelatinous gelatinin of gelatitude. Ugh. Get Tomford. All of a sudden, we have the double team attack again as well. Rat tat bang, baby. Let's get it. Yeah, let's go. That's pretty cool. I like this. <laughs> Beating them all to death. Just right in the center. Just there. Ah, it's, it's really cool. Alright. We'll take it. A marbled steak. We got, we're getting a lot of foodstuffs. Alright, we got a bunch of Sepith. For potential upgrade. Oh, look down beneath us. You can see uh, the floor under. Cool. Sorry. All right. Uh. Eh, didn't really seem to do anything. It's fine. We got some CP up. Every time we get to do an attack, we get a little bit more. I need to move her slightly closer, I'm noticing. Aw, oh, boo. He got squeaked. Oh, it's a vampire bat. All right, I need, yeah, I need to move her up a little bit in the overall. Because if anything moves the enemy back, like most attacks do, she apparently can't reach with her staff. So, that being said, we need to go to tactics, formation, move her up one maybe. Yeah, that seems fine. I think that's okay. Uh, get him. Rat tat bang. Here comes the follow up. This time she should be able to. Oh, team rush chance. Never mind. We got this. I'm going to speed it up a bit. We could skip it all together. But I decided to go into high speed mode. Very nice. Oh, a little downstair action, okay. Ooh, what this? It's so dark. <laughs> huh? Did you guys hear that? It sounds like a child is crying. What the hell's going on down here? 
Ain't this place supposed to be sealed off from the public? Are you asking me? All I know is that officially, yes, the public should not have access to the geo front. Yeah, look, we can figure that out later. Right now, we need to find out whoever's down here. Or find whoever's down here. You're right. I knows it. Oh, this looks interesting. The world's largest vents. <laughs> I want to go home. Oh, we found him. How'd he get in the vent? What do I do? This right off. Hey, is someone there? Oh my god! Who's there? There you are. Oh, thank goodness we found you. Are you okay? You aren't hurt, are you? Uh, well, uh, whoa. Poor kid was really spooked. I think as soon as he realized he was safe, all of his emotions just overwhelmed him at once. Lloyd, I'll, I'll take care of this. Uh, okay, go ahead. Le Lloyd? There, there. You were really scared, huh? Everything is okay now, I promise. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Uh, uh, okay. We took care of all those mean monsters outside, so how about we head back now, okay? Let's get out of this dark, cramped place. I can carry you if you want. Just make sure you hold on tight, okay? I'm fine. I can walk by myself. Why, what a brave boy you are. What's your name? Uh, it's Henri. Henri of Astora. The link has been made. No, uh. <laughs> She's got a way with kids, that's for sure. Well then, Henri, can you tell me how you ended up in a place like this? The geofront should have been locked, so how did you manage to get inside? Um, well, we were playing near the big bell in Central Square. When we opened this weird lid on the ground, we found a ladder leading down here. And, and, and then... So you decided to see where the manhole led, huh? I will need to add that entrance to the database once we finish here. Back up a second. You said we. Are you saying you didn't come down here alone? Uh, yeah. My friend Ryu said we were going on an adventure. But when we got down here, some monsters started chasing us and we got separated. So that's what happened. So that's the full story. Lloyd, what should we do? What do you think? Take the boy and return for now. Search for the other boy with him. I guess we have to find the other boy. There's no time to waste. We'll just have to take Henri with us while we're looking for Ryu. Should we not prioritize getting this child to safety? We could always split up. Half of us take Henri back and the other half keep up the search. No, that's too big of a risk. It'd be a bad idea to split our combat strength in half like that down here. Ellie, uh, can I put you in charge of protecting Henri? Yes, leave him to me. If we come across any monsters, I won't let them lay a hand on him. We're going to find your friend, Henri, I promise you. But it's dangerous for you to stay here alone, so we're going to take you with us, okay? We just need you to be brave for a little bit longer. Do you think you can do that? Uh, okay. I'm worried about Ryu, too, so I'll help you look. That's the spirit. All right, everyone. Now, uh, this is now an escort mission on top of being a rescue op. Be even more careful from here on out. Of course. Understood. All right, let's go find our other little adventurer then. Andre has joined the party. If an NPC is KO'd in battle, it'll be game over. Oh, dear sweet lord, that's terrifying that that's a thing. We gonna get a chest. Ooh, we got a lighter. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that, but probably gonna equip it. What's it do? Care about mountain climbers to ward off the cold. All right, well, I'm gonna stay warm, I guess. And I feel like that's very inefficient, but hey, what do I know? All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're gonna break it off right here. In the next episode, we will look for Ryu. And uh, maybe we'll find Ken as well, and we'll be able to start our own Street Fighter franchise. It's, it's fine. Uh, I'm having a blast. This is a, this is a really fun game. Uh, again, very similar if you played any of the Trails or the Legend of Heroes games. This is, um, you know, right along the lines of those. A lot of familiar things, a lot of crossover language. It's all in the same world. You, you understand. You understand. It's good. I like it. I'm looking forward to playing more. I hope you guys are looking forward to watching more. If you are, well, stick around the channel. There'll be plenty more to come. Anyway, until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, 
We conquer.